I'm Bob Hoffman, I'm 72 years old, and I've been in Grafton for 46 years. I'm Bob Lauer, I'm 72 years old, I've been gra Grafton for 65 years. I'm Frank Gettlinger, I'm 66 years old, I've lived in Grafton 25 years. And we're all concerned about the future of our schools. There's been a lot of news about communities in the area investing in their schools. Shouldn't Grafton do the same? Uh, you know, I'm like many of you. I walked, drove by the building every day and didn't see anything until we got inside the building. And once we got inside and we started seeing how the infrastructure was, we know it definitely needs help. There's a lot of things that need to be done. So one of the issues is we got standing water. Some of these sinks, the water doesn't drain for hours and hours and hours. A lot of stuff needs to be repaired, and it's not something we can just put a Band-Aid on. That's been done for the last five or six years. These things need to be replaced. A lot of what is going on in the classrooms isn't sitting at a desk and taking notes. What it is, it's all about project-based learning and hands-on learning. And with six tables, 25 students, it gets pretty busy right here. My three children graduated in the late 80s and this is how it looked when they were here. Exactly the same as what it was 20 years ago. In fact, this science room looks a lot like the science room I was in back in 1960 in West Bend. Uh, my nephew's name is uh, Chris Calise, uh, 1997. He took first place in the country uh, for the Automotive Challenge. But there's 25, 30, 40 students in Carl's class. And with these crowded conditions, are they getting the best out of their years at Grafton? I noticed over here we got an air compressor in a corner that's got an oil leak. So they're using rags to wipe up the oil so it doesn't seek on the floor. I'm impressed that he can even turn anybody out of this room. So for what he's got, he's got a fantastic job. But I think it can be done much better if they had room to work. I have two manufacturing companies in Grafton, blanking systems and framing systems. Four years ago, I was in a Grafton Lions meeting because we're having a hard time finding employees and kids aren't getting into manufacturing, that maybe the high school should do more in the industrial arts department. Bob says, meet me over at the high school. So a few days later, we went over to the high school and I came into the industrial arts department and it was 1964 exactly the same as I had when I went to school in 1964. Now, the only technology that exists in here is what we donated from the Industrial Alliance. It's small, it's outdated, it's archaic. Like I said, if I would have gone into a classroom and seen a horse in that classroom, which is exactly what I would have seen if it was 50 years old, this is what the kids are seeing. You can't do this. This is just wrong. Time. I think it's important that we do this at this time. The time is right, the interest rates are right, everything is in our favor. Do it now while we can. Once these buildings get to the point where something is condemned, then what do we do? That's a question I don't even want to face. And it's deteriorating, it just is. And I think it's time we need a change. And if we don't invest in our children, uh, we really have a big problem because the kids are the only future we have. There isn't anything else. And that's what this referendum is all about. It's rebuilding the infrastructure totally so that we don't have these problems crop up 10, 15 years from now. So we need to vote yes on April 5th. It was one thing my mother, who passed away two years ago, she was 95, I said, Mom, is there one piece of wisdom you could give me? She said, leave this world in a better way than you found it. And that's it, and I think she's right. So that's what we have to do.